It's about damn time the first iOS update in almost two months now has just been released, iOS 10.2.1. So we saw four betas for such a minor release and it's finally here. Doesn't bring any new features, no, but there's still a lot you guys need to know anyways. So in this video, I wanted to make a quick little update for you regarding the jailbreak, bug fixes, and just a bunch of other things. So first up is you guys will be able to update over the air if you so choose, as long as you jump in the software update page and you'll see 10.2.1. It's a pretty small update, so I haven't noticed anything literally performance wise features wise there's really nothing to speak of now one of the biggest issues with ios 10 in the past uh, few weeks has been the whole contact uh, bug issue the crashing and i just wanted to show you guys something so you know how apple supposedly was supposed to fix this with this update well they didn't so if you actually jump into the change log of this update it mentions this contact issue so processing a maliciously crafted contact card may lead to unexpected application termination however check this out it still works in this latest version of 10.2.1 they even credited the original founder vincent but the new one i showed you with the emojis still works so i don't know if apple didn't get the memo and just didn't watch my video uh, but you can still crash somebody's phone using this uh, rainbow emoji text glitch that i uh, did create in a contact card for 10.2 and above so i'm going to go ahead and send it to this phone and it will take up to 30 seconds before you reach the text but it'll be perfectly normal you'll be doing your thing and just to show you guys i am on 10.2.1 over here this can still be done so nobody is safe just yet i'm a little bit surprised apple didn't patch it so i'm just gonna show you guys that while i'm messing around my phone is going to freeze just like that while even swiping through pages. So on some devices, the more stuff you have on it, like data, cache files, I noticed it crashes almost every single time. This device is a little bit empty, so it just freezes for like a couple of minutes and uh, then resumes. But your messages app can still crash permanently uh, after this update. It, it doesn't really change anything, really. So I was actually curious to find out that 10.2.1 is the same as beta 4. So nothing changed. If you guys are on beta 4 of 10.2.1, you will not be receiving an over the air update. It will just be the final version of 10.2.1. Just uh, letting you guys know. And here's something very, very curious. I was surprised to see Apple actually patched and took seriously. So you guys remember a few weeks back, it hit all the headlines, the iCloud bypass. It's not actually a bypass, but you were able to put a huge string of emojis into iCloud and crash the iCloud application you'd go to the springboard for a few seconds i made a video on it it wasn't really a big deal not as big of a deal as everyone was making it out to be but apple still patched it so they mentioned an activation lock device can be manipulated to briefly present the home screen and it was fixed the guy that found the bug was credited so i'm a little surprised to see that one there but you will no longer be able to crash the icloud screen so i thought maybe apple might have watched my video maybe they finally patched the most annoying thing about ios 10 but nope the shutter bug is still present so in the stock application recording at 1080p or 4k the camera app you will still see a choppy transition from light to dark it's like uh, just in the stops there's no smooth transition it's just really really rough transitioning from it and i i was really hoping apple would fix that maybe 10.3 is a charm i don't know so i wanted to take a minute to mention what's going on with the jailbreak right now so ios 10.2.1 will never be able to be jailbroken at this point in time no one has intentions of doing it it fixes a whole bunch of kernel bugs that would make that difficult so you know don't expect a jailbreak on 10.2.1 however luca tedesco has made promises to jailbreak ios 10.2 on most devices the iphone 7 and 7 plus will not have a jailbreak on 10.2. But I just wanted to show you guys his most recent tweets that he did talk about the jailbreak. And he voiced his frustration with a lot of people being annoying, but he said, I will stop all public iOS research after I drop that 10.2 thing. 10.2 thing is uh, applying to the 10.2 jailbreak he is working on right now. The idiocy of the jailbreak community is too much to handle for me. So I don't know. I mean, it's sad. A lot of people have been pestering him, going on his Twitter, annoying the crap out of him, and I kind of get it. Uh, but he proved me wrong personally. I thought he was nothing but vaporware until he actually released something to the jailbreak, did something for everyone. That was quite amazing of him. So I got to give him respect for it. Even though he won't be working on any more jailbreaks after this, the fact that he jailbroke iOS 10.1.1 and below was quite amazing. So he is working on a 10.2 jailbreak right now. That means 
anyone with an iPhone 6S or below and on iPads, as long as you're on a 64-bit device and you update to 10.2, you will receive a jailbreak. Now, if you're on 10.1.1 and waiting for a jailbreak, that's your call whether or not you want to update. I won't tell you what to do, but both versions will be jailbroken, 10.1.1 and 10.2. The good news is you guys can still update to 10.2, even though the newest firmware is 10.2.1 right now. So all you guys need to do is jump into iTunes and uh, download the 10.2 download file and update to it manually. It's not that difficult. You can also downgrade from 10.2.1 to 10.2. So basically what you need to take away is stay on 10.2 or 10.1.1 if you want to jailbreak. If you're on a 7 or 7 plus, stay on 10.1.1 or below. So on 10.2.1, this is the kind of score you are looking to expect, 3490 single and 5722 multi-core. On 10.2, it was just a little bit below. So nice little jump there in terms of Geekbench score. The only other thing I wanted to show you is the respring bugs, uh, which do still work. Oh man, I just froze my device, I forgot. <laughs> Once you have the contact card in your notification center, you can never use it until you manually delete it from messages. So that's super annoying, man. So this is what I wanted to show you. Basically, you drag over, just leave it about right here. Click on the status or the search bar and let go, and it'll respring. Also, another respring bug. So tap the airdrop and the camera at the same time until it freezes and it resprings. All right, guys. So that's iOS 10.2.1 came out today, but stay away from it if you want to jailbreak. Stay on 10.2 on any device lower than the iPhone 7. And if you're on the 7 and 7 Plus, stay on 10.1.1. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy or hopefully don't enjoy this update. Peace.